bro. Any White Sox fans in this bitch? Yeah. Hell yeah, bro. Okay, uh, let me get. I'm gonna help you get it out the way. Where my Cub fans at? Yeah. All right, that's over with. Uh, <laughs> No, it's kind of it's kind of fucked up. Uh, Cubs are like this, man. Uh, the first time we've been on ESPN since 2005 recently, and it wasn't because we were winning or anything. It's because a fat bitch stole a gun and put it into fucking Comiskey Field, dog. That shit fucked it up for all of us, bro. Cause now security detail everywhere is checking fat people, dog. The other day I went to go see Blue Beetle at the movie theaters. The security stopped me. Hey, come here, bro. I was like, man, what's up, man? What you what you want, bro? He's like, nah, you know what happened, dog. <laughs> <laughs> Lift the titty up. <laughs> Lifted it up, Reese's Pieces fell out, dog. <laughs> Tried to walk away, bro. He said, nah, fat boy, come here. <laughs> Shit, what do you want now? Lift your back fat. <laughs> Fuck! Fucking torta de milanesa fell out of the Fuck! <laughs> Some bullshit, bro. It's hard being big, dog. It's hard being big and dating because a lot of times we're, all, we're dating people that, you know, are traumatized from their last relationship. You know what I'm saying? The other day I was laying down in bed with my lady and I started taking my shirt off and she was like, Oh, hell no! I caught your bitch ass! I knew you were gonna cheat on me. You ain't shit, you ain't never gonna be shit, you fat bitch. I'm like, hold on, what you talking about? She said, the scratches on your back, pendejo. <laughs> bitch, those are stretch marks. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing gets a girl more hornier than false allegations, dog. <laughs> Yeah, bro. They need to be fucked up, bro. They need to be fucked up with me, homie. Real shit, man. Like me, like I'm Mexican, so like I like to cheat. <laughs> like my dad did it. My grandfather did it. My great grandfather did it. You know what I'm saying? Like yo soy de mi nueva, dog. So like, but you gotta watch you cheat on. Like I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. The easiest group of people to cheat on are white women. Because the worst that's going to happen, bro, is that they're going to record themselves crying and post it on TikTok. <laughs> that captain's going to say some bullshit like, I know my worth. <laughs> Catherine, if you knew your worth, you would have been on the third time I cheated on your ass. <laughs> and I thought shit was so slick with Latinas, dog. I really did. I fucked up twice. I be swiping around on profiles or I read in the bio. Both of them bitches had witch emojis. The first time I cheated, bro, fucking like a Mexican chick, dog. She put a hex on me. This bitch practices a brujeria, homie. She has titties, so I didn't care that her fucking picture was a Santa Muerte. She put a hex on me and now I have type 2 diabetes, bro. I was like, fuck it, I'm going to a Puerto Rican next. Maybe they different. <laughs> Hell no, nah. they go to the extreme getting them long ass Wolverine ass nails. <laughs> <laughs> you think shit's sexy, bro? They scratching your back, it's for a blood sample. <laughs> Hell no, nah. bitch is pulling on my hair. She needs two strands of hair to finish her voodoo dog. I cheated on her too, bro, and she ended up wishing sleep apnea on me, bro. She says, so I don't dream about other hoes. And if I do, I die. <laughs> and it's kind of fucked up, but like, I used to love dating skinny women, bro. I really did. I used to love picking them little bitches up. <laughs> but then they started doing a lot of bullshit, like, for hobbies, like, going on walks. <laughs> like, my people's dog, like, my people's over 30. When you know it's sunny or, you know, when you know it's rainy and fucked up, bro, all your limbs start to hurt. That shit happens with me when it's sunny and blue skies. I know this bitch is about to ask me to take a walk on Lakeshore Drive. So I gotta put my peru everywhere, bro. That's why I love me a big bitch, bro. I love me a gordita, man. Where my big women at? If you tuck 
your stomach into your pants. I was talking to you, ho. <laughs> Bitches with big backs didn't make noise. Oh, they, didn't, they didn't make noise, bro. Fucking, they, they didn't be linebackers for the Chicago Bears, bro. Protect us from fear, bitch. It's funny, half of you big girls that didn't make noise, you didn't need to, I was hearing you breathe. <laughs> I'm on Herbalife, I don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> but this is a safe space, ladies, I love big women. Because you understand me. Because you are me. <laughs> In this hot ass weather, ladies, what do we gotta do? We gotta put deodorant under our titties so we don't want that fat ass sweat on. You do that in front of a skinny woman, she don't look at you weird. I'm here to be loved, not misunderstood, ho. <laughs> Hey bro, skinny women, don't, they don't even got good food taste, bro. Not at all. Matter of fact, their pussy tastes baked. Skinny girls taste like a fucking zucchini. And as you can see, I don't like vegetables. That's why I love me a big woman, because that pussy tastes like high cholesterol. And skinny women always got the worst food taste recommendations. Baby, let's go to this TikTok patio like keto vegan. Fuck that, I want heartburn. <laughs> That's why I love me a big woman, bro, because she gonna wake me up at 3 a.m. and be like, Papi, Papi. I gotta take off my CPAP machine because that wish, bitch wishes to slap the CPAP me on me. Shh, shh, shh. See me on um, I know we just had our midnight snack. <laughs> but do you want to go to Denny's? <laughs> See me on what I would love to go to Denny's. <laughs> Let me put my CPAP machine away before we go. Can you give me my insulin? <laughs> nah, bro, it's fucked up, man. It's fucked up. Dating's interesting, bro. And like, the thing is about big women, too, it kind of pisses me off, bro. When you eating them out, they got the audacity to be like, Papi, look me in my eyes. <laughs> so you gotta push down on her stomach. <laughs> <laughs> I like my girls over 280 pounds, so I gotta push down on the fupa, too. <laughs> Fucked up, bro. On top of dating apps too, man. That's why I meet most of my bitches. Like, like you two. You guys two together? Where'd y'all meet? Work? Like drug dealing or like? Really? <laughs> she looks like she puts it in her Michael Kors bag and shit. That's what I'm asking. I love that first night on 26th Street. I know it. <laughs> uh, work? Hell yeah. Where you working? Uh, restaurant. Hell yeah, bro. Restaurant. Mm. <laughs> but nah, bro. It's just real, man. I'm telling you, man, I'm looking at these dating ass, bro, this shit's fucked up. Like, he obviously wanted a Mexican chick, bro. Like me, like I want a big booty Latina, and I'm not gonna settle for anything more or less, bro. So in the first week, I'm looking at the rocks, I'm like, damn. She got a huge forehead. She got a lot in her mind left. <laughs> oh, shit. She got a pointy nose, and she'll be nosing in my business left. <laughs> she got drawn in eyebrows and hoop earrings. She might like domestic violence, right? <laughs> Reading the bio, you must have all sixes to swipe right. Be six feet tall, make six figure salary, and have a six inch dick. <laughs> Fuck, I'm 5'7". I make $45,000 a year after taxes, and I'm four inches harder than a blue chew. <laughs> Fuck that, I'm swiping right when I roll. <laughs> she gon' find out. But dude, in that second week, bro, like when you get no chonchon, dog, I'm swiping right on everything. The picture don't even load up yet because I got Boost Mobile. I ended up matching my cousin, dog. <laughs> 